The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Jillian Kenny. For all of you who may not know me, I'm the Marketing Program Administrator here at Vandertech. And we'd like to welcome everyone today to the last installment of our three-part Office 2007 webinar series. And uh, Sander Tech is very happy to once again have Christine Mansfield here from Discovery Training to help us navigate the new features and layout of Word 2007. And Discovery Training is New England's only 24-7 training partner specializing in custom award-winning training solutions. So we're very happy to have Christine with us today. You should notice a um, question field on the right-hand side of your screen, so that if any time during the session you have a question or comment, you can just go ahead and submit it. And if we're unable to incorporate it as we go, um, there might be some time at the end of our session to answer it then. But if not, we will go back and look at all submitted questions and um, circle back on those within the coming business days so that you can get, get an answer to uh, what you're looking for. So without any further delay, I'd like to turn the floor over to Christine. Thank you, and again, good afternoon. Welcome to our webinar. And what we're going to be looking at is our Word PowerPoint. OK, here we are. And again, as we look through our landscape, our objectives today are really to understand the power and the functionality between, behind Word. We're going to be looking at some new tools on the graphic side, the editing side, the proofing side, the review side. There will be many new tools that you'll be able to use, not only to save time, but again to increase the professionalism and the effectiveness of your communications. With any new version, we'll have to address the compatibility issues, so we'll end talking about the save options that you might have relating these changes in your documents out to a broader audience beyond you. Let's look at the benefits of 2007. And while most of these apply to the application, specifically today we'll address Microsoft Word. The improved templates and the designs, of course, build efficiency. The less time you have looking for tools, looking for menus, looking for functionality that will help you write your documents or edit, the better and more time you'll have in making it look and sell your business. So we love the new design packages. We'll explore many of the new themes. You'll notice vibrant colors, more themes, more templates. These will all help you sell your message. Dynamic Word documents that not only act as documents of communication, but they're going to help you publish and make your business look even better out there in the field. Finally, we'll be talking about how some of the new tools allow you to incorporate some of the access and Excel charts and some of the data analysis pieces that you'll use to make your documents quantify. That's very important these days is that we sell and we talk about the numbers. You don't have to be an Excel power wizard anymore to use those charts and use tables to help you uniformly sell the data. We're going to talk about some of those tools. Some of them are smart. They're very interactive. We'll end, of course, with making sure that you know where to find them as well. The new interface explores powerful new tools for you in the benefits package. Let's like now look at the interface. If you're following with me, if you're eating lunch, keep eating, keep munching away. But I invite you to open up just a quick uh, document in Word so you can follow with me. If not, we do have some screenshots available through here on our PowerPoint presentation. And by the way, we'll make this available to you after the presentation today for further reference. Let's look and start up in that far left corner, the Office button. Undoubtedly, that was the first panic attack you had. Where did the file menu go? We'll find and explore some of those new buttons up in the Office button. That will be your very first start in opening up a new document or working with some of the file commands that used to exist in the 2003 menu. If you follow along at the right-hand side, and of course I'm up at the top, we'll see a quick access toolbar. We're going to talk about that a little later in our presentation. It's meant to be iconic. It's meant to be a shortcut. It duplicates some of the most powerful tools that you'll use in navigating Word. We'll talk about that a little bit later. We'll come now down to our ribbon. These are the commands, the panels of tabs and groups organized to help you work very efficiently through Word. We're going to focus on that in just a little bit. And we come down to the bottom of our page, 
if you're looking at the bottom lower right hand corner, you'll remember from your 2003 menu, we had shortcuts for viewing and zooming. They've added this little slider tool. If you're with me playing along, if you click on the slider to the left or to the right, you can instantly zoom in on your document. We're, of course, looking at a big picture of our document. This is, of course, a broad picture. It's going to help you look at the, the layout of your page. Very important when you're considering how is it going to print, how are the margins looking. These buttons then allow you to zoom in and review for typos. Look at the detail of the words, again, on a more magnified view. Shortcuts, folks. Again, options for you to work within the settings quicker and more efficiently. If we come around to the left-hand side, you'll find the status bar that hasn't changed. You'll see the number of pages, as an example, or your word count. That mimics the 2003 environment, but again, it's a little bit bolder. It gives you access quickly to some information in documents. Of course, the rulers are here. You can turn everything on and off. Um, the View tab is here by default. And this allows us to look and work within our publishing world of Word. Remember, of course, we're still laying pieces of information or blocks of copy onto a document. And you'll notice, again, this nice, airy blue color is new, and it's a new color schema for us to work with. Again, the inter interface is brand new, but it, these pieces or these new tools and functionalities can be found on many of the other popular applications you use within the Microsoft suite, including Excel, including PowerPoint, including Outlook in some cases you'll find some of these pieces faster and more customizable for you. If we look forward now to the Word button, we're looking now, of course, at the commands that dominate the Word Office button. Remember, it looks here at the upper left-hand corner. These are the commands that you'll find. They offer some of the commands we found on the File menu. Many of these, including New and Open and Close, offer you tools for navigating within your document. You'll find many more templates, great ideas for our power users, for those of you writing RFPs, for you, those of you writing memos. We have a wide variety of users on the phone today with us. There's something for everybody under the new button. I'd invite you to take a look at that. They store some of those templates on your own computer, others. You'll need an internet connection, so for those of you portable, the sales folks out on, again, on the road, You'll want to make sure you have an internet connection for that. I promise you, you're going to find a template that will work for you. It'll spice it up. There are including new templates for cover pages and assorted categories that you're going to find just stimulating for getting your message out more effectively. If you look across two there, the save and the save as command is here. We're going to readdress this later on in our presentation too for distribution. But you should know if you're clicking the save button, you're saving in a brand new format, folks. It's now saved as a DOCX, that's a four-letter format. That's different from our DOC. Again, the de default format for 2003 can, can be found under the Save As command. We're going to address some of the compatibility issues you may find in using some of the newest tools of 2007, but saving it down as a different version. We're also going to talk about PDF for those of you needing to use a read-only format that PDF option is just brilliant, and they've made that available as a default on the Save As command. 